the Royal Navy steaming full ahead into the computer age. HMS Glamorgan, Britain's sixth county-class guided missile destroyer, is quite literally computerized. ADA isn't the Navy's maiden aunt, it's Action Data Automation, the latest aid to streamlined weaponry, a system that programs every scrap of tactical information that's relevant to a fighting vessel on active service. The Morgan may have electronic gadgetry like no other ship afloat, but the navigational art of officers like Captain Rowe, the CO, is in the strict naval tradition. The senior service absorbs everything the technologist has to offer. The tiny wheel that guides over 5,000 tons of destroyer is the Nelson Touch brought bang up to date. Powered by steam or gas turbines, Glamorgan is adaptability afloat. And that's the Navy's most valued secret weapon of success for tomorrow. Adaptability extraordinary. Glamorgan's helicopter flight deck becomes a hockey pitch. Glamorgan's a ship that's designed to spend months at a time without landfall. So playing halves as much a part of the hardy life at sea as pinpointing a position by sextant. Almost an antique alongside the advanced electronic apparatus for the Navy's modern role. The ship's missile power pack is aimed to knock out high-flying supersonic aircraft that might attack the fleet. The enemy below the sea is dealt with by the ship's own deckboard Wessex helicopter, carrying the latest submarine detecting equipment and torpedoes. Getting it out on decks a tricky maneuver with only inches to spare. In minutes, the chopper's ready for liftoff. In space jargon, A-OK. -okay. To the Navy, thumbs up. For a show of a different kind. Show business, in fact. Glamorgan has its own closed-circuit TV station and a crew with talent that's much appreciated during a long stay at sea. Computers apart, the Navy's adapting the more familiar electronic aids to living. HMS Glamorgan's the first ship to be named after the county of Glamorgan and there's a TV set on every mess deck given by well-wishers in Wales. Something worth drinking to with a pint. Or the more serious business of splicing the main brace. The rum and water ritual that's every sailor's due each day. The lingering ceremony of the daily rum rations, a precious Navy rite. So cheers. Feeding the 450 ratings is a highly organized affair aboard Glamorgan, whether it's a shipboard bakery or an ice cream machine with its own mechanized flourish, technology can be sweet or savory. If food and drink are important, so is health for men who must be 100% fit. There's always a job for the ever watchful M.O. Seafaring's a healthy enough life and sailors are tough enough not to flinch when they get the needle. And if the M.O. is ever watchful, so is Glamorgan's bedstead radar scanner, feeding vital information back to the ship's all-important operations room. Pathé Pictorial was privileged to film Glamorgan during sea acceptance trials of the 4.5-inch gun turrets. See how the crew gets to grips with gunnery.
Whether it's guns for close-range bombardment or missiles for long-range sea-to-air engagement, captain and direction officer control operations not from the bridge, but from the ship's action station nerve center. The countdown for a missile firing begins as the Sea Slug Mark IIs are traversed, brought into the firing position from the storage area. The Navy has press button automation geared to a split second fine art. Control panel lights show the location and movement of each missile as it moves towards the launcher in the stern. As a safety precaution, each missile bay is separated by a flash-tight door. It's a twin ramp launcher. There's missile one ready to fire. Missile two ready to fire. Ada, Glamorgan's computer tactician, digests the action data and tells the captain the best line of attack. It's the most complicated and foolproof shorthand system ever devised, but the decision to fire is the captain's, and the captain's alone. <laughs> 